Cobra Kai Season 5 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you're not caught up to the point where I am and re-watching or watching Cobra Kai or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention and as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case and you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. I tried to say that as fast as I could. This will be Cobra Kai Season 5, Episode 9. Tell this episode is called Survivors. And this will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode. So Sam is really angry with Tori about not coming forward sooner with Terry Silver paying off the official at the All-Valley Tournament. Johnny and Carmen see or have not well, Carmen has an ultrasound and they get a picture of their soon-to-be child. They go into an elevator at the hospital and it stops on another floor and Terry Silver randomly comes in. He's got like a tracking device on everybody because he just shows up everywhere. It's crazy how that happens. And Terry Silver tells Johnny everything he does is for the future and he tells him to savor everything before it's gone. Johnny tells Amanda, Daniel, Chosen, Anoush, and Louie that Carmen is pregnant. Robbie goes to Cobra Kai and apologizes for leaving and says he should have taken everybody with him. Chosen has knives with him at the party and he's informed no weapons allowed, but he can pick them up when he leaves. I think there would be a bigger deal with that. I don't know why they didn't make a big deal. He's got knives in his pocket for crying out loud. Police should be called and everything. Chosen won't drink to stay sharp in case Terry Silver shows up. Daniel tells him to may take a break. Don't worry about Terry Silver right now. And he tells him he wants a Long, and, Long Island iced tea. Bert and company show up at Stingray's place. Uh, Chosen tells Johnny we are the same. We both made mistakes. And then he tells him about a love interest, Kumiko, of course, from the Karate Kid part two. He talks about somebody special. Sensei Kim and Terry Silver want Tori to break solid stone like Daniel LaRusso had to do in Karate Kid part three. And while this is happening or why Terry, Tori doesn't want to do it. And uh, Sensei Kim says she's weak. She let a relationship get in the way. And Tori says that she broke up with Robbie because of the dojo. And she does go to punch Sensei Kim, but she ducks out of the way and she punches the stone and really injures her hand. And she punched it like 10 times, but the last one actually broke it. Stingray, in his own words, tells the kids, in company, everybody, because everybody came to Stingray's, not just Bert, but, um, you know, Sam and Hawk and Eli, uh, well, Hawk and Eli are the same person, I'm sorry, Hawk and Dimitri, uh, about what happened uh, in his own words, through a D&D &D sort of thing. Johnny tells Daniel that Chosen is a cool dude. Chosen, of course, has feelings for Komiko, from the Karate Kid Part 2. Uh, and he mentions that Daniel's like, why didn't you say anything? You, you, you should have said something. And of course, Kumiko made an appearance in Cobra Kai Season 3 as well. And Chosen says, Kumiko has no idea how he feels. That's really sad. Everybody's on the dance floor and Chosen is getting down. Anoush, we find out, is dating Louie's sister, and that makes Louie want to beat him up, and he does. And then we have Chosen outside the club, and he's calling Kumiko and leaves a message. Says, one big mistake, he should have taken her with him when he went to the United States. Uh, Sam shows up at Tori's place. Tori sells, says she felt like a fraud and Sam surprisingly wants to help. This is one of the best moments for Sam in Cobra Kai, in my opinion, because I feel like she is the most annoying character. My opinion, I'm sure other, other people have a different opinion on that. Sensei Kim thinks Devin really has a shot to win the Sakai to Kai. And then in the limo, Eye of the Tiger is playing uh, in that stretch homer limo with Daniel, Johnny, and Chosen. Uh, Carmen and Amanda decided to take an Uber home as they were they had too much for the night. They they need to rest. They're tired. It's past Amanda's bedtime. And then we find out that somebody is driving the limo besides 
uh, Louis limo driver uh, because they're not letting the person out. The you know they're not able to get out of the limo and the limo's going really fast and they're bumping around and all that um, and they can't get out and the person won't open the thing to talk to them uh, and that's how the episode ends. So pretty good episode. It was good development for certain characters like Chosen. Uh, I don't feel like it was an epic episode. It could have been, but obviously you have the finale next, so they held back a little bit on this one. I'm going to score it an 8.6 out of 10. Uh, the standout characters in this episode, you have to give it to Sam, Tori, Chosen, Daniel, Terry Silver, Robbie. I mean, there's a lot of standout characters on this show. I wish they would get rid of some characters. They need some character deaths in this show, I think, uh, personally, but that's my opinion. And my favorite moment would be when Chosen was on the dance floor or when he tried to get into the club with his two knives that he always carries because that was hilarious. The fact that they didn't call the police because of that is beyond crazy that they did. But it's a TV show, so what do you expect? So you heard what I have to say. Now, of course, it's your turn. If you're a fan of Cobra Kai or the first three Karate Kid movies, not counting the one with uh, Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan, and want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, there goes my eye again, it's getting blurry, left eye, uh, go ahead and smash that like button, share the video with whomever you want, or put this video on any of your social media platforms, sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Corba Kai. What would you score it? Uh, anything in between a 0 and 10? Whom would be your character or characters of the episode? And if you have a favorite moment, leave that in the comment section. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. If you're watching the video anyway, subscribe to the channel, join the team, share damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return. Quiet!